Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got sort of another sequel sort of system to do. This is the Space Engine in Universe Sandbox System 2 or Final um, Edition. This is from the user Scario. Um, I really hope I'm not scrapping your name there but if you're from Discord so a massive thank you to him uh, for sending this in. But yeah guys without further ado let's get into this. But before we start I've got a little search up here. This was the original system, which we had um, quite a while ago. And if you remember, I believe it was one... Yeah, I remember this. So it's not the final version. But yeah, this was... Ba it's basically a massive galaxy sort of sim. Like, it's got stars that are just ultra far apart, as we can see here. And then this system was... This system was full of some good stuff, if I remember right. And yeah, there was a bunch. Just an absolute bunch of very, very cool objects indeed. So yeah, we are going to be checking out the sequel to this today. So let's get a little comparison. So this one's got 255. But now we're going into the new one. Right, so let's see what we have got in here. Right, so this one has got 383. Oh, my. And I'm guessing that's not rings either. So this should be very interesting. We can see this is absolutely enormous. So we are going to head straight to the center of the system to start off with. I mean, look, this is crazy. So the final version of SE in Universe Sandbox um, system behind the pink object with the name behind this object are the new part of the galaxy. Oh, okay. So... The pink object so if we just yeah okay so the final version behind the pink object um with this name behind this object a new part of the galaxy is this stuff uh, i have a youtube channel so yeah there we go so definitely check him out guys as well um and there is also plamimos okay all right so yeah we'll go through the whole system again though so here we are right so all the way to the center here i mean this is just this is really big I mean, it reminds me of one of my old sims, which was like light years in size, and it was just, it was basically a full galaxy as well. But yeah, here we go. So the star, the first of many stars. So here it is. So yeah, very, very bright luminosity. We'll, we'll turn off these zones though. So let's just, uh, there we go. That's a little better. Right, put labels on because we are going to need a lot of these. So, right, here are the planets. So since it's so big, I won't zoom into every single one. I'll just zoom into the ones which I see as the most interesting personally so we got the first object here i will make it bigger so you guys can obviously see it though so there you go so that is the first planet there so a nice big view so we can see them all so we have that is our first planet then we have got the second planet is mars terra i will take a i'll we'll have a little peek at this one so yeah this is a tinted mars um by the looks of it here so there you go and also yeah realistic lighting probably is not going to work because there's so many stars in here. This is what happens when you put loads of stars in the system. It absolutely messes up lighting. So if I go on realistic. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to play the whole game on directional, I think. So yeah, there we go. So there is Mars Terra. So a fully uh, colonized up, or colonized looking sort of Mars. No oceans, but yeah, um, nice sort of tint going on there. So there we go. So Mars Terra. Right, now moving on to the next one. So here we go. So, I think, no, that was when we first clicked them anyway, right. So, Jupiter, oh, <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so, yeah, it's a very spicy Jupiter with uh, plenty of colours there. I think I remember this from the previous one. So, yeah, there we go. So, there is the uh, crazy banded Jupiter there, right? So, moving on to the next planet here. I think I remember this one as well. That was a good-looking one. So, yeah, I remember that. We've got an ISS. So, it's a uh, tinted um, third stage of Apollo there. So, there we go. Big banded next object here. Looking good. So there we go. We did Jupiter. Pingling's planet. I definitely remember this one. Yeah, this, we've done this before, I think. I think this is pretty much the same system. So it's the stuff around the pink, the pink one, which is new. So Brown Dwarf. I will I will go through it all go quickly. But yeah, the new stuff is the around the pink one. So we will uh we'll go through everything. But yeah, the pink stuff is what the main focus will be since that is the new stuff. So we'll have a quick flash through all of the objects here since we are we're, just, we're basically doing a rerun of what we've done before. So I don't want to waste your guys' time with something that's already um or something that's already been in the video. So we will quickly flash through all of this stuff. So as a recap. So yeah, there we go. So there are all of those guys. But yeah, the pink one is what we want. So that's one of the um planets all by itself really far away out there. All right, so where is the pink? Okay, so we still got a few more. Oh my god, there's so many. It's quite hard to navigate with just all these guys. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Oh, what's happened here? What is this? 102 AU particle. So, oh my god. So they're in like a little cloud of stuff here. That is really crazy. So yeah, all of the objects here though. So we'll go through all of these. But yeah, definitely, definitely seen some familiar faces so far with these guys. So here we go. So let's just uh, briefly go through them all here. There we go. All the nice yellow one. Yeah, I remember banana. 
Uh, now moving on to over here. Yeah, I, I think I remember these two uh, objects. Yeah, I remember these. So there we go. So there's a Voyager 2 in here as well. Hey, there's two Voyager 2s. But yeah, the planets. So onto all of the planets here. So hopefully I've clicked on every single one. That's quite a nice one there. Um, but there we go. That one looks like it's got taken use of the new features. It's got white clouds, but it has a yellow atmosphere. So that looks like it's using the new setting. Yeah, cloud color, atmosphere color are different. So yeah, this has been updated in the current version, I think. So yeah, there we go. But there are all of those objects. Or maybe it just updated with the version. I'm not too sure. So there's all of those guys. Then we have mana over here. All right, zooming out from there. So oh yeah, where's Universe Sandbox 2 channel? Oh, that's what that thing's called. I think. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, it's this one. So we've got a green moon over here. Really cool. Alrighty. So I saw a few more other particles around here as well. Right. So Nusty. I think I remember this. Any objects around here? So that's a that's a lone planet. Okay. So zoom all the way out. So much action on the scroll wheel of my mouse today. Uh, another star. Remember that, that we saw that briefly in the search menu on the last system. So where was that pink one? So yeah, we need to head over there. Big arrow. That's new. So yeah, there we go. So these may be new as well, but not this one. I recognize this. So yeah, it's a tinted moon or um, colored moon with a yellow atmosphere. Remember that one? Oh man, navigating is crazy. Then we have got these two. I remember the two binary blues. No planets around those guys. So there we go. And there's also one lone object over here. So there we go. Hey, no, don't do that. There we go. That's better. Right. So moving on. Yeah. Alrighty. Yellow star, that's in a binary with the blue one. Yep, I think I remember that. But now moving on to the new, I think, is this the new one? I think I remember Big Arrow. Do I have a save of Big Arrow? I'm not sure. Let's just see, do I have Pink Star anywhere? No, that was gal that's what, okay, it reminded me of that. I don't think I've got this saved. But yeah, it's, it's quite, I'm not sure exactly if we've seen this one. So yeah, there we go. Has this got any planets around it? No planets around that. So let's just reopen it again. I want to see. So it said, right, here we go. come on. Okay, so uh, the final version of SC and Universe Sandbox, behind the pink object with the name behind this object are the new part. I'm, I don't really understand that. So I'm not really too sure where I'm looking here. But yeah, the, he said the pink object, which is the, yeah, the one we were just at over here. So this was Big Arrow. So yeah, I'm not too sure what we're looking at here um, or which one I should be going to. So, that's a pink trail. But I don't see any other pink trails. Oh, behind this star is the new stuff. That's more of a purple than a pink trail. But yeah, the star is mainly pink. Okay, so here's the new stuff. Right, so we can skip the rest of the stuff. We've done that all before. Right, so we can just hop onto this. So this is the new stuff. Right, so we can go for a full look of this system. So here we go. So here is the first object. Oh, we've got some city lights going on here. Hey, very nice. So there we go. Uh, we'll put that back onto directional light. Just so we don't have any problems. Whoa, that looks completely different. So with the starlight, it's complete. It's obviously pink because of the color of the star. But without it on directional light, you get a completely different look. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next object out. Oh, that's just a particle. There's a lot of particles. Let's just go and delete them all just so we get less lag. There we go. So next object. So again, it's going to get mainly tinted by the purple of the star. It looks to have some of those. That appears to be molten rock. Yeah, I was going to say, is that red city lights? No, that's molten rock. Righty, so there are those guys. So yeah, guys, if you want to check out the whole system, make sure to watch part one, I guess. So yeah, just Space Engine Universe Sandbox, because that this in theory is a part two, but um, yeah, it is a slight update. So there we go. Right here we are. So this is quite a good looking one actually. I like that the sort of emerald green color, white surface, mainly an ocean world. Quite like that. So there we go. Then planet over here. So there we go. So it's um, a mix of a few different colour bands on it. So there we go. That is that one. So yeah, I didn't... I wasn't... Uh, until I saw the name of this, I wasn't exactly sure what this meant behind this star as a new stuff. But yeah, it yeah, makes more sense now. So there we go. It's more of a magenta shade than pink, I'd say, though. But yeah, there we go. So is, is that all of it? Yeah, the big arrow is definitely more pink looking than this. But um, yeah, there we go. And then the rest of the objects. I mean, actually, just to make things easier so we don't have to travel massive distances, we can just view them all in um, in chart mode. So obviously, we've got all the stars. And then all the planets is where the real interesting stuff is. So we can get a full view of all of the planets. So there we go. But there is a lot more in here. I'm guessing all those particles and stuff. Because now we're back at 2.36. So 
yeah, practically the same amount as we had before. But yeah, here is all the objects. So this is probably one of the craziest systems for coloured stars. I mean, this is a crazy amount of coloured stars in here. Here we go. Oh, here I remember. Yeah, here's the crazy, this absolutely crazy thing again. So let's go back to, uh, I mean, realistic. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Um, studio? There you go, studio. You can sort of view them a little easier. But this one's very reflective and bright. Quite a weird one. So there we go. There's also two. Yeah, these are really weird ones. I remember I really liked this one. Yeah. I like that one. This one as well. Yeah, I, I remember these. I do remember these. So, yeah, if you guys saw that episode, you probably recognize some of these as well. That one kind of looks, reminds me of a Planet Nine. That's quite, that would probably make quite a good Planet Nine, that one, actually. So, there we go. Then some more of these stars. 18 Tele here. That, we've seen this in loads of systems before. That's one that's been disputed around um, a lot of the uh, you guys. This one is very nice. I do like that. A lot of bands. But, yeah, there's so many stars. I mean, look at all the stars. Look at this. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of pink stars. So, yeah, that is identical. I could have got mixed up with this star. But, yeah, it's a, I mean, that's a lot of stars. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. But, yeah, here we go. So, I remember the pumpkin as well. I remember that. But, yeah, here we go. So, moving on to the uh, other ones. But, yeah, the main layout or the main purpose of this is to sort of be like Space Engine where you've got to travel massive distances and stuff to head to each system, which is pretty cool. But in Universe Sandbox, it's quite difficult to do. Just because of like traveling, you, you can't, you can only travel at a certain speed in Universe Sandbox. You can't like speed up to crazy speeds like you can in Space Engine. So navigation is quite difficult um, in these systems sometimes. But yeah, here we go. So it's a full line up of all the objects. So yeah, there we go. I mean, there's so many. I mean, <laughs> there is absolutely so, so, so many here. So take a bigger jump. This one is definitely one of the highlights. I remember that. They've got a flooded up Earth here. I already remember those as well, I believe. Right, there we go. Here's this one as well. Yeah, a lot of these are very familiar faces to me. I mean, there's not too much change in here, so I'm not going to make this video ultra, ultra long because it's practically um, stuff we've seen before. But yeah, here we go. So I will go and we will fully watch it all. So actually, I could just use the... Um, there we go. That's better. So I just use the uh, keys. So there we go. Get a sort of look at all of these guys. So there we go. A nice little flyby. There's a black hole there as well, which is quite cool. So there you go. You can see that's obviously bending all of the shapes and stuff. I mean, that's really weird. But yeah, there we go. And oh my god, looking back at all the stars. I mean, that is a lot of uh, that's a lot of stuff. But yeah, there we go. So it's a full line. Yeah, we're going to turn away from the stars because that is that's too crazy. But yeah, there we go. So that is a full lineup of this system, guys. But yeah, that does it for today's um, episode. So yeah, guys, let me know um, what you think down below in the comments of this. So yeah, sort of part two, sort of mini sequel, I guess. Because I mean, there wasn't too many new things added. I mean, we've got 236 objects compared to the original. What was the original? Was it 230 something as well? So let's go back to the original. It was 255. Okay. So yeah, 255 and then back to this one again. So yeah, okay. So there was, a, there was obviously a slight change. Um, with all of the stuff in here. So yeah, this one's got meant to free eight free. So a bunch of bunch of new stuff and I'm guessing yeah all of the uh, uh, Plamimos and stuff all of the uh, hidden planets and stuff I mean just navigating around will just be really really difficult and I don't want to waste you guys time doing that But yeah, we have viewed all of the objects in here But I think my favorite has got to be one of the ones we saw from last time already I'd say so yeah, there we go. So there's that let's get rid of those uh, particles But yeah all the way back down to the objects. So, yeah, my favorites were the gas giants I mentioned back up there but then it was the rocky ones. So where are we? Let's go back to um, back to directional. So there we go. And then it was a really sort of unique, wacky-looking uh, green ones down here. Uh, where are we? Come on. Where are they? They're, yeah, the ones. Yeah, these ones. The, the, these objects. The ones with these like crazy glows and really weird looking. Like that. That looks cool. So that they're they're definitely my favorites. But I believe I already featured them. And yeah, these were definitely shown before. But yeah, that that still remains my favorite. I think out of all of these guys but yeah that is everything guys so yeah let me know your thoughts um yeah in the comments um let's see if we can go for 20 likes on today's um episode guys and yeah subscribe if you're new helps on our journey to 15,000 subscribers and of course if you guys have got your own systems to send in make sure to join my discord server link in the description where you can upload your systems there and then there'll be an automatic in the queue for me to do them you can also let me know the name of it in the comments on these videos and yeah um i can try and get around to doing it but please note they could get lost in the comments if you post links and stuff they'll go straight in the spam box i may not even see them so yeah please note the best way to do it is just tell me um can you check out my system and then just put the name of it on the workshop if you post links and stuff it'll It'll just make things a little more hard to do. So, yeah, there we go. But please keep that in mind, guys. But, yeah, with that all out of the way, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.